Hello everybody and welcome back to Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and yes, today we're doing another Moldy Worm mukbang video. Um, after the success of last week's mukbang that you all seem to really enjoy, I thought we'll do it again. Now, if you haven't seen the previous episode, we had Chinese food and we discussed Xbox versus PlayStation. So, um, I'm switching it up a little bit tonight. We've got some fish and chips, which are just there. I'm going to have to put it uh, this way, so it actually fits on the camera, which is just up there. But you can see, there we go, lovely, lovely fish and chips. Actually, I think it will probably, yeah, it will fit that way. Absolutely fine. Um, we've got a glass ready to go right here with some ice in and uh, we've got a can over here. I can only show you the back. Well, actually, it has gold on there. So um, the brown drink last week was Coke. This week we're going for Dr. Pepper, so we're switching it up again. I'm going to pour some of that in there. We don't need to empty the full can, but um, that will do nicely. Um, we have got some Heinz tomato ketchup. Um, just going to sneak a little bit of that on there. We actually do need some salt, so I'm just going to grab some of that. There we go. Just some normal um, sea salt just there. And we're just going to grind a little bit of that on. I haven't got any vinegar, unfortunately. I wasn't that prepared. Normally, I would have vinegar. So, for any of you shouting at me in the comment section, oh, you haven't got vinegar. Well, yeah, I don't have vinegar. Normally, I would. Um, but I have forgotten that. Um, I'm going to separate the fish and the chips. Normally, I keep them together. But for video purposes... We'll uh, separate them, just a little bit more presentable. We've got plenty of salt on there now. Now what I always like to do is um, just leave a little space mm, on the edge there to put my tomato sauce. Get a good wadge of it on there. And um, the more observant among you might have noticed that there are no mushy peas. Um, actually the fish and chip shop had run out of mushy peas. Can you actually believe that? A chip shop had no mushy peas. But anyway, normally I would have mushy peas, but they didn't have that and we don't have any vinegar. So it's not my typical uh, fish and chips, but it's as close as we can get it. So um, yeah, we've got some more things to discuss today. But before we get into that, I want to just say there's going to be a lot of this open mouth talking and chewing. So if that puts you off, then this is not going to be a video for you. And if you don't know what a mukbang is, it's basically what we're doing right here. It's where you eat a meal and you sort of vlog at the same time. So that is what we're going to be doing in this video. If you haven't seen the previous one of these we did, I will link it in the description in case you want to go and watch it. But we have another controversial topic to discuss today. Today we're going to be discussing Marvel versus DC. So we had quite a controversial one in the last episode. We talked about PS5 versus Xbox Series X. And I want to stick with the controversial topics. And I know DC versus Marvel is quite a big one. So that's what we're going to be discussing today. It has been a long time since I've had Dr Pepper, so that has just uh, woken me up a little bit. As far as the fish and chips go, uh, that's going to be like an off-topic um, discussion that I'm going to keep coming back to throughout this. Hmm. And you might have noticed, hopefully it's coming across on, on screen for you, the, the top camera up there, um, I have adjusted the exposure on it a little bit, 
so hopefully it should be a bit brighter for you because I noticed in editing the last one it was a little bit dark compared to the face cam that I've got going on here. So hopefully that's coming across, um, but I will find out when I edit it. Mm. It's also been a while since I've had fish and chips, so I felt it was a much needed um, episode on the channel. But anyway, let's get into the discussion. Today we're going to be talking about Marvel vs DC. I have actually watched a, well I've watched all the Marvel films, well when I say all the Marvel films, I mean in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the DC Extended Universe, that's what we're going to be discussing. I have watched all the Marvel Cinematic episodes and I have watched nearly all of the DC Extended Universe films. And I also have watched um, quite a few of the, um, trying to think what it is, like with Wolverine and all those in there, uh, the X-Men, that's what I mean. Uh, they're Marvel, they're under the Marvel family. I have watched a number of those, including the new Gifted TV series, which is fantastic, if you haven't watched it yet. Um, but, yeah, which which sort of um, franchise is better? I want to hear your guys' opinions down in the comments below, whether you prefer Marvel or DC. I'm going to keep it fairly broad, so I'm not going to give my final conclusion on it. I'm going to leave it as an open discussion for you to uh, leave a comment. Um, but one thing I will say is Marvel has been, a, well, the Marvel Cinematic Universe has been around a lot longer than the DC Extended Universe. So that means fans who like both um, franchises, like myself, um, I don't really lean either way. I actually quite like both. Um... To me, it comes down more to whether it's actually a good movie rather than what um, studio produced it. Um, but I do like the continuous sort of uh, consistency within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's quite nice. It's an easy franchise to follow. It's been around a lot longer, so there are a lot more movies to watch. But DC is also pretty good with their movies. They are in a similar genre, obviously mainly superhero films, but the way that they portray films is completely different to how Marvel does. And that is what I like about DC. They seem to be a lot more... They look more at um, the effect of, how, of what something has um, on sort of the normal day-to-day -day life, which is something Marvel doesn't really get into. I find Marvel... Marvel is a lot more light-hearted, so even if you're not a huge superhero fan, um, you might still enjoy Marvel because it is quite humorous. I'm not saying DC isn't humorous. Um, it does have some funny parts in but it is, on the whole, it's more serious than Marvel. But, if we go away from the movies just for a minute, and um, we talk about the TV series in uh, both franchises, obviously we have the Gotham series, uh, which is produced by Marvel and I have watched that. It's fantastic if you haven't seen it. It's sort of borderline horror in some episodes, um, but I'd say it's mainly sort of action thriller. Um, it is quite a um, good series. Once you get into it, it's quite addictive. Um, you you'll end up binge watching it if you if you like it. Um, 
But as far as Marvel's concerned, obviously we have The Gifted, which is a fairly new TV series uh, that takes place in the X-Men universe. And then we have um, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., which takes place more in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, sort of with Thor and Captain America and Iron Man and such. Although they don't, although they don't actually take place in the TV series. But they are mentioned throughout, so that's how we know that it takes place in that universe. But getting off topic a little bit, these fish and chips are absolutely fantastic. I got these from uh, a chippy just up the road. I got it delivered. Um, yeah, it's, it is just up the road. I could have walked and got it. But because I'm making this video, I thought I'll get it delivered whilst I'm setting everything up. And it took about 20 minutes for them to come. So that was really impressive actually. Um, and they taste absolutely fantastic. They're not cold either. Because that is always a concern when you have uh, takeaway food. Is that by the time you get it home or you get it delivered, it has grown cold. But it is actually still very nice and warm. So, yeah, very well done. But, getting back to the um, topic we were discussing. Um... I think as far as TV shows go, I have to say I prefer Marvel TV series. Um, I did really enjoy The Gifted. In fact, I've only just finished watching that about a month ago. Um, there's only been three seasons released. I believe season four has been cancelled. Um, but season three ended on a cliffhanger. And there has been talk about some uh, funding possibly to bring that show back. So that is something I'd like to see. Um, because obviously it ended on a cliffhanger and I want to know what happens next. Um, but as far as the TV series go, I haven't watched all of Gotham, which is obviously DC, because um, I did eventually get fed up with it. I have watched all of The Gifted, and I have watched all of the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So, by that logic, I would say Marvel makes better TV shows. Um, mainly because I didn't get bored with the Marvel ones. Um, but, obviously, that's open to opinion. Um, I'm not really one for horror films, uh, or like thriller films, it's not really my genre. Uh, although I did like Gotham because I do like uh, DC films, so it kind of underlies in uh, in that universe a little bit. So that's why I decided to watch it, and I did enjoy it. It was good, um, but I feel like um, the Marvel ones just seem a little bit more consistent. They seem a bit more light-hearted. Um, they seem a bit more approachable to people who maybe don't or have never watched um, either of the sort of or any like superhero type films. Um, one thing I will say though is the DC films are absolutely fantastic. I haven't watched many of the late DC films so I haven't watched Birds of Prey and I haven't watched Suicide Squad yet. Um, it is on my watch list to eventually get round to that but the little spare time I have I make videos like this so there isn't much time for me to uh, to watch movies which is well I'm not going to call it a shame because I actually do enjoy making YouTube videos but um, yeah, I'd like to watch some of those films. I will get round to it eventually. But the DC films that I have watched, um, I have really enjoyed. I like the Batman, um, the Batman movies. The first two, I think, are the best. The third one is good also. Uh, but I do prefer Christian Bale. As Batman, I think I think he played Batman slightly better. 
Um, but that's obviously just my opinion. But I also like Wonder Woman. That is a fantastic film. Um, not just because it's a superhero in a bikini with a massive sword. But it actually does have a good storyline. It reminds me very much of um, the Captain America, the first Captain America film. It's kind of on similar lines to that. Um, but it also kind of reminded me of the first Thor film as well. Where they're sort of like in a mystical land. And then they come to Earth kind of for the first time, which is quite... Um, it's kind of quite weird, really. Because you don't think about Earth as being a sort of alien uh, territory. Because obviously we live here, so we feel it as home. But it kind of gives an outside perspective on Earth as an alien planet, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah. Now, obviously, the Marvel films, as I said, there's a lot more of them. So, we have Wonder Woman, we have Batman, um, we have Superman and The Flash, and all those people in the DC universe. But there hasn't been many films um, made by DC yet. But in Marvel, we have a lot more characters. We know the characters a lot more because they've been around for longer. And there's just generally more films to develop those characters. So, I said I wasn't going to lean either way. I'm trying my best not to. But I do like the Marvel films because they have more character development in but I'm not saying that as a bad thing to DC because DC hasn't had time to develop its characters yet because it's only just starting out in its extended universe. So it's kind of an unfair comparison, if you will. But the few movies that DC has at the moment are absolutely fantastic. I have enjoyed them very much. But we're going to go off topic a little bit. And get back to the actual food, the mukbang. Um, I felt the uh, the last mukbang video, I felt it was a good sort of test to see whether you guys enjoyed this kind of thing. And uh, it got quite a positive response. Um, so I thought I'd do another one for you. Definitely let me know in the comment section if this is something that you do want to see more of. If you want to see this as like a regular kind of show here. Um, and also, don't forget to let me know what food you want to see me try in the next one, if you do want to see more. So far, we've done Chinese, which was last week was the very first one of these we did. Tonight, we've got an English with fish and chips. Um, but obviously, I have lots of options available at the moment. So... I think rather than picking an actual food type, I think if you let me know the country that you want to see me try food from, so like we could do Italy next, obviously we have plenty to do in Italy, we have pizza, we have pasta, um, we have lasagna, we have loads of different things we could do for that, um, we also have like America, so we could do um, I don't know what we could do. We could do some like barbecue meats. Obviously, I can't barbecue them. Um, but we could do like a steak. We could do burgers. We could do like a hot dog. Um, but yeah, let me know uh, what what other food you want to see me. Uh, Try if you have a specific food that you want to see me try, then uh, drop it down below. But I think if we stick more to countries, and then I will try and find the best food to fit that. Now, if it is something that I don't particularly like, then I'm not going to try it. Um, but I am open to suggestions. If you want to suggest something, keep it sensible. Um, 
if it's something really wacky, I'm open to give it a go. But I will flat out let you know if I don't like it. I am a country boy, so I'm not really uh, one for trying exquisite foods. I like to stick more with what I know. So I don't mind like Chinese and that kind of thing. I actually really like Chinese. Um, but I wouldn't try like dog or snake or something like that. That's n not the kind of thing that I want to try really. But if we take it back to the actual discussion we're having at Marvel versus DC, I think both franchises are good in their own ways. I think Marvel makes slightly better TV shows and its cinematic universe is a bit more developed. But I do enjoy the DC films. Um, we don't have as many of them. But there are some very good DC films out there. If, you've, if you are a Marvel fan or you are a DC fan. Even if you're a hardcore one or the other. Um, then I'd, I'd recommend that you try some of the other franchises films. And see if you like those as well. Because initially I was a hardcore Marvel fan. But I've since watched quite a few um, DC films and they're actually very good. They have a slightly different feel to them, but they are good in their own ways. So, um, if you're like me and you like both, then good on you for keeping an open mind. If you are someone who is very, um, I don't want to say narrow-minded, but set at, with one franchise... Just maybe watch one DC film. I'd recommend the Batman films if you like Marvel. The Batman films are sort of the closest Marvel feeling films uh, that DC has made. So maybe start with those. If you like them, then you can open up to more things. Batman also has Michael Caine in, so that's always a good thing. Those of you who um, have been here on the channel for a while might know that I have a classic mini. That is uh, my daily driver, or that is my car. So you can probably guess that my favourite film is the Italian job. And that obviously has Michael Caine in. He was a lot younger then, but um, any film with Michael Caine in is going to be good. Let's... Let's just put it out. That's not debatable. That's just a fact. But I'm sure there's a few of you watching who don't know who Michael Caine is. So if you don't Google him, watch The Italian Job. And I'm not talking about the 2003 remake with Mark Wahlberg, which is also very good. But I mean the original one with Michael Caine. And the classic minis. That one is actually better. Uh, but anyway, that's not the topic we're having or discussing. Um, yeah. That is uh, probably going to uh, wrap it up for this episode. Um, I have been meaning to do desserts for you both times. Um, we've not actually made it full of fruit, a full meal yet. Um without finishing the uh, topic of discussion but I can't really go on for too long about one topic I, I I can talk a lot but I can't talk that much so hmm I think we're gonna wrap it up there um, I think I've tried my best to keep this as open-minded as possible If you're someone who has never watched a Marvel film or who has never watched a DC film, which I find very hard to believe, but um, if you are one of those people, then definitely consider watching them. Even if you don't like superhero films, um, maybe try some of the other Marvel films that I haven't mentioned yet or some of the other DC films. Um, I know the, uh, the Superman films are quite popular. They are quite lengthy. Um, but they are quite good as well. Um, 
But let me know in the comment section which category do you fall under. Are you someone who likes both? Are you someone who likes Marvel specifically or someone who likes DC mainly? Um, personally, I like both. Um, I was a Marvel fan, um, but I have since decided that I like both. They are both very good in their own ways. Um, and also, don't forget to let me know what food you want to see me eat if you want to see me do another one of these mukbang videos. That is going to do it for today's video though. I hope you have enjoyed watching this mouldy mukbang. Hopefully we're going to be doing more of these. I do quite enjoy filming them. So uh, yeah, thanks all for watching and I'll see you in the next one.